Hey guys, Reels and Barrels is back and we're at a new pond and I just hooked on to a small bass. Oh, there he is. There he is. I'm using a little tiny gulp minnows. Yeah, we'll put it back on when one of us gets another one. Terry's the cameraman today, so yeah, hopefully we'll have a good time. <laughs> See ya. All right, guys, we got a big bass on here and Terry's whole way over there, so right now I'm my own cameraman. So I'm fighting this thing one-handed. <sighs> it's kind of hard. Hold on. There we go. I need to turn my drag. I'm using the weeds over there. There we go. He ran himself into that. I already fought this stupid thing. There we go. He's not a big one by any means. Again, he's a little one. <sighs> yeah, there he is. Hopefully we get more. Oh, I caught this guy on it. Wait, I just want to show you this because I think it's kind of cool. Hold on. I caught him on. It was literally just a tiny chunk of a one inch gold minnow. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Um, I'll turn the thing on when we get more. Here we go. All right, guys, we got another one on. No Once again, I'm doing this one handed. There we go. There we go. He's not a big one. He's not a very big one again, but he is what we got. At least this pond. This pond isn't full of lunkers. But hey, fish are fish. There's a couple nice ones in here. There's a couple nice catfish and everything. We've been catching bucket loads of bluegill but i'm guessing guys don't want to see that some little fish so i've been just filming the bass all right get this thing on oh terry's got a bass now on that's actually good timing oh no it's actually a really big bluegill that's a nice bluegill Eh, he's not huge but he's a pretty good one oh yeah Turn this back on when we get another one. Hopefully it's a little bit bigger. All right, guys. Got another bass on. Sorry, it's kind of fuzzy right now. For some reason, it's not. Uh, I don't even know what it's called, but it's not really making itself unfuzzy. I'll have to wipe off the screen. Let me try it real fast. It's not working. Hold on a second, but we got a bass on again. You get the point. Hold on a second. All right, here he is. Man, I don't know why the screen is fuzzy. But yeah, it's another bass. A little better than the rest, actually. He's probably only, he's a little under, eh, he might be about a foot, actually, more look at him. But, they're not lunkers, like I said before. But they're bass. So let me let him go. Alright, there it goes. Alright, turn the camera back on when we get another one. Hopefully it's not so fuzzy. Alright, guys. Terry's got something on. Luckily, the video is. Holy cow, it just came right in. Look at that, it's crappy. It's a nice little black crappy. That's actually, yeah. Is that a bad one for this pond? I don't think it is. It's decent. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Alright, turn it back on and get another one. Alright, guys, got another bass on. Oh, sir. <laughs> Not very big one again. Yeah, this bass does not have very big bass. I'm thinking there he is. They're all about the same size. It seems like just 12 or just a little bit under. I didn't catch. I don't think any really. They were 12. They're all about that size, and like two of them might have been a little bit bigger than that, but not that big. All right. Man, he had, what was it? Nice Man, he just missed a nice crappy. Honestly, it's kind of hard to get through the bat, or through the bluegills to get to the bass. They seem like smaller baits around here. Probably because they're not very big bass. But yeah, I'll turn the camera back on when we get another one. <laughs> hey guys, we're back. And we just got back from the new pond. And yeah, we caught some, not very big. 
I don't know, none of them were really lunkers. But I'm thinking that I'm going to start trying to do some more groundhog hunting videos and things like that. And also, I want to start going to new places and uploading more often. And yeah, I don't know. See ya.